What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Beacon of Nick. I hope all of you guys are having an awesome day so far today. So today, guys, we actually have a bit a big news and a big leak about a new direct that's probably going to be coming in the next week, two, three. Uh, I'll give you guys some of my opinions about when I think it's going to be. Actually, I do think we'll get two directs, and I'll get I'll get more into that. Um, there's been a lot of news and a lot of rumors flying around, so we are going to cover a new rumor about this direct that dropped yesterday, and there's a new um, there's a new leak or a new um, new news about like uh, Game Freak kind of renewing a trademark for Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold. So we'll get into all of that. If you are new to the channel, I want to give you a huge warm, uh, warm welcome. Welcome to the Beacon Fam. Um, thank you to everyone that became a member recently, guys. Thank you everyone that subscribed recently. Um, we are live later today with Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. And then uh, I got some news coming very soon too. There is a poll up right now, guys, on YouTube for every candle, lantern, and lighthouse. You can vote on tomorrow's stream. Uh, I'm really excited about it, guys. It'll, it'll be out for the next two days. And I'm going to get a poll up later today or tomorrow for the movie night on Saturday too. So if you guys are a member, we do have a member movie night this coming Saturday, guys. You can vote on all that stuff. So with all that out of the way, if you guys do leave a comment, let me know how you feel about the next Nintendo Direct, what you guys want to see in it, and uh, what you guys think, um, like when you guys think we're going to get the Crown Tundra, because we're, we're going to go over that too in the in the, in the uh, video today. So um, I love all of you with all my heart. Thank you so much again for all the support for this channel. Um, with all that out of the way, that was a mouthful. Let's hop into it. So over the past few days, guys, there's been a lot of buzz about a new Direct coming very soon. Like the first thing I want to say is that Nintendo just updated their direct archive, which typically does like precede some kind of big announcement or direct or something like that. So I would imagine over the next one, two or three weeks, we'll be getting a big direct, uh, whether it's a partner, a mini, a Pokemon direct, something. Um, also, there's actually this advertisement going over a Smash poster and it runs through the October 4th. So my theory is before the fourth, like they're gonna update that, the, the Smash roster. So I think we will be getting the next Smash character announced before October 4th. Um, and then there was a, a shadow drop or there was a game called Kirby Fighters 2 that was announced on Nintendo's uh, Nintendo's website before it ever got a formal announcement. So either they accidentally posted it before they, they, they dropped the trailer. The trailer came out last night, like 10 hours ago. It was like, it was early, it was late last night or early uh, this morning. Um, so there was a, there was an announcement finally. So whether Nintendo accidentally posted it and then dropped the trailer or they, they accidentally leaked it and they decided, well, we'll just announce it anyways. So we don't have like, you know, give away a new direct coming soon. I really don't know, but, um, I do think we'll be getting a direct very soon guys. And there's a lot more announcements that like, that makes me feel that way. Um, there's a new rumor we'll be covering on the channel today, guys, that kind of goes into more of it. And then I'll give you guys my thoughts on when the next direct will be coming. And I, I do have a theory about like the next Smash character and the next Pokemon direct um maybe being all in the same the same thing i think we'll be getting a pokemon character for the next um the next announcement and i think it's going to be a character that we have not got a gmax form yet and also guys a few days ago nintendo filed new trademarks for pokemon heart gold and soul silver and i've heard a lot of people talking about maybe us getting ports or remakes or remasters um i really don't know if that means we're you know just because they they filed a new trademark that means we're gonna be getting new games they might just be renewing a trademark for the future just to make sure that obviously they want to keep their trademarks um there there is a new rumor that we're gonna be covering here in just a minute that kind of does go into us getting potential like a D, like ds games on the switch i just don't know what the likelihood of that is because obviously porting a switch game or porting a ds game to the switch would be a little bit difficult because obviously like the interfaces are just vastly different um but we'll get into all that guys whether i think we'll be getting the heart gold soul silver or what i see coming to switch in terms of like old uh old pokemon games in the future so with all that out of the way guys we're gonna get into to the room so guys after we cover this rumor i'll give you all my thoughts on when i think the next direct will happen what i think we'll see in it and all the theories i have regarding it so this was posted this morning guys around like it was like one in the morning so it starts off by saying it will start off by saying kirby fighters 2 has released and it'll be shadow drop tonight so what i think this could mean is that they Nintendo originally planned to release this uh, Kirby Fighter game with the direct, but they accidentally released it early. So this is they kind of like took part of the direct and just released it early. So it kind of threw up suspicion of a future direct. Um, that's that's honestly like there's not very much to back that. So it, 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 that's not very credible. So I have no idea. Then it will start, it'll go into a 3D Kirby game scheduled for 2021. So basically the direct will start off by saying we're getting a brand new Kirby game next year, um, which is kind of I mean I can see it happening. Doom Eternal will be released on Nintendo uh, Switch on October 20th of this year. So, so so far we're getting Kirby, we're getting Doom Eternal, which is going to be very interesting. Um, the next announcement will be a Smash character announcement for Geno. It will be it will start with Mario and Luigi uh, wandering a forest with a familiar tune in the background. It shows Geno sitting on a tree trunk. Mario and Luigi both walk up, and it's Mega Man, 
and then all three will be surprisers. Wait, will be a surpriser. Um, Smithy shows up with a Smash Bros. invitation letter, and then Gino comes out of nowhere, swipes it, and steals it. And then the the, sma the splash screen is Gino shoots for the stars, and then gameplay will be shown. So, out of all the Mario characters, or out of all, every character they could ever add, Gino is a really, really uh, interesting choice. I don't know how that would go over with people. Like, we're getting Gino before we get like I, I don't I don't know I don't know. Um, if, if it's Gino, it's Gino, and I'll, I'll be happy with it. Uh, and then Epic Mini One and Two will get remasters on the Switch. This kind of this is kind of surprising because I, I I have not heard much about Epic Mickey getting uh, any sort of like remaster for Switch, so I think a lot of people will be happy with that. And this is what is interesting, guys. This is Pokemon Heart Gold and uh, Heart Silver. I'm sure they mean Soul Silver will be shown or um, will be getting remasters. I really don't know if they'll get remasters. If they ever came to Switch, I think it would be a direct port. I don't know how you really remaster like an old game like that and make it look better unless they're talking about ha actually making it from the ground up or making like a, a remake. Um, I think what this rumor is going over is just like trying to take bits and pieces from what's been announced recently or what's been rumored and kind of putting it all into the, the same thing. So I wouldn't take this leak very credibly, but for all I know, it could be true. Um, I mean, obviously we know that like the, the that Nintendo just got brand new uh, trademarks for Heart, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And then a new Legend of Starfy or Starfy or Starfy will be shown scheduled for summer 2021. So that's a new announcement. Um, um, Disagea Six is it Disagea or Dis Dis uh, Dis Disgaea? Is it Disagea or Disgaea? I never knew how to pronounce that game, but I, I, I that's the one like that, that's one franchise that I've never really been into. Will be released on July 2021 for the USA and February for Japan. So we're getting it later than Japan, which is interesting. And the DLC for Super Mario 3D All-Stars will have Super Mario 3D Land and Super Mario Galaxy 2, um, which I really don't believe that. I don't think we'll be getting any, any kind of like DLC for a game that's only going to get a very limited release. That doesn't make any sense to me why we get a why we get DLC for a game that's only going to be available until like March of this coming year or next year. And then the final announcement will be uh, Danganronpa Trilogy on the Nintendo Switch, but I think a lot of people would be happy with that. That'd be a really big announcement if, they, if it was true. Um, so I really don't know how I feel about this Direct, honestly. Like, there's a lot of things that I think so sound semi-reasonable or, or plausible, and then there's stuff that just sounds like they're kind of like just taking rumors that have been like that have been circulating and trying to throw it into the Direct to make it seem a little more, you know, more reasonable. So, so all things considered, guys, everything being said today, I do think a direct is imminent over the next one, two, three weeks. Whether it's too too many directs or a full direct covering everything, I don't exactly know. Um, but with the Crown Tundra coming out, with the next Smash character probably getting revealed relatively soon, um, I I definitely think we should all expect an announcement here in the, in the next little while. Um, my theory is, guys, for the next Smash character, that it will be Mel Metal. Because I don't think they're going to do a DLC character from the Crown Tundra for the, the Smash roster, but they could release Mel Metal in the same, like the G Max Mel Metal, in the same week that they release the Crown Tundra to kind of get people back in more hype for the DLC. And also, it would be a lot of good, it would be really good representation for Smash Bros. 2. Um, I think everyone, like, I think Mel Metal is generally well known with a lot of the fan base, so it would be, kind of make sense to include Mel Metal because we've known about him since Generation 7. So if they were trying to build, like, uh, everyone kind of getting familiar with him, like, through Pokemon Go and through uh, just Sword and Shield, everyone kind of knows about Melmetal now. And the and the, the Gen 7 anime was huge with Melmetal. So I think it makes sense. And then I think the final Smash could get, incorporate the uh, the Melmetal G-Max form, too. Um, I don't know when we'll get the announcement. If they could... We could just get a Pokemon Direct that actually announces the next Smash character, too. And that would also be all-encompassing. So... Let me know in the comments below, guys. When do you think we'll get the next Ma the the next Smash character reveal, the Crown Tundra like trailer, or the next announcement, or and, and the release date? And do you think we'll get one direct, two directs, or a big direct covering a lot of games more than just what, it, what than the Smash character and the Crown Tundra? So let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know. Um, let me know any feedback you have about the video. Always, guys. I will always apply to every single comment you guys post. I love you all with all my heart. I hope all of you have the best rest of your day today. Everyone stay happy, stay healthy, stay hydrated. Um, we're live later tonight. Welcome if you're new to the channel. And thank you guys so much again. Um, so much love you guys, my man. And peace.